What's up guys, it's Mirror Girl Cat Corelli and this is episode 296 of my Cat Vibe series. Today we are painting some daisies. Uh, we have a little garden here by the utility pole. Um, and there is a whole bunch of peonies and also, well, we made a little, a little, little plot for some produce and for some flowers. So these are the daisies that we've planted. When was this? I think in May, I believe. And uh, I'm doing a really, really quick study. Uh, the video is just, what, five minutes long, I guess. And at this time, I also, um, I already had my neon oil colors. Uh, from a company called Gapka. Now, mind you, I'm not saying that this is a very good idea. I mean, it's purely experimental. Uh, the, the idea, what I mean by that is the idea of mixing artist-grade colors, like Gamblin oil colors or Utrecht, uh, mixing that with uh, Gapka mm, neon oil colors sometimes. I don't know. To me, it looks like a wild experiment. It's not... I mean, for such a style of painting, for a fairly impressionistic style, I think it's fine because, you know, it has this... this kaleidoscope of colors and brush strokes and that kind of thing. And I don't necessarily even mix some colors. I deliberately split colors quite often. Uh, so, it's fine. I've discovered, however, that I like to mix in some of the lower-grade mauve color, violet mauve, permanent mauve is called, from the old uh, beginners, the student-grade um, Georgian oil colors that I had. Um, but it works well because... Uh, it has low pigment load, that mauve violet. So when I mix it, even a hefty amount with burnt sienna, for example, it gives me the necessary effect without overwhelming the burnt sienna. You see what I mean? So I'm kind of approaching these um, other oils that have less uh, pigment load. I approach them in the same way, like this neon uh, orange, for example, by Gapka. Uh, I don't, I'm not entirely sure that I would have been uh, able to paint a substantial portion of a painting, of any given painting with Gapka oil colors. It appears that they are rather thin and the pigment load is just not, mm, not enough. Uh, but in little areas, for a little highlight here or there, putting a thick, um, a, th a thick dub of um, Gapka oil, that works. As long as it's a, you know, thick blob, then it works. But otherwise, it's not worth it. Otherwise, it's too, way too, too, too subtle. Way too subtle. Because the pigment load really matters. This is the concentration of pigment uh, per unit of oil paint. And here's the finished painting. Uh, it was a little study. Ah, no, it wasn't the finished painting. Oh my god. I am dubbing this um, video way after I've actually recorded it and edited it. So at this point I didn't remember that I was just showing a snapshot somewhere in the middle. But yeah, that's where we're going. And this is fairly impressionistic. I think this is also fairly expressionistic, if you know what I mean, if you know the difference. Um, and this opens a little mini-series of um, this little garden flower paintings, which all have the same thing in common. They have flowers, and they have greenery, thick, dense greenery, and they're all painted approximately in the same, the same manner. 
I was thoroughly enjoying this. I thought that I wanted to, that that's what I wanted to spend my little uh, pre-made canvases on. Well, pre-made by me, apparently. <laughs> uh, these miniature canvas canvases. Even though I, th I think some people will not consider it to be miniature canvas. It's like, what, 8 by 10 inches or something like this. Well, I consider this miniature. So here's the finished work. Thank you for watching, and until next time.